Yo, what's up? Jacob all here. I'm gonna knock this out real quick so I can put this cut kit the rest of the way together. Take a look. So I'm probably gonna align this close to the edge so I can have more room here. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put in here. I'm probably gonna one day put like a hot iron, some other stuff. So I like to keep a little bit of room to the sides and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna bury it as far under here as possible. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get a mark done. So this skinny long reach marker is nice. I did black because most of mine I'm gonna wipe back off so that you can see. So I did a test of this on a piece of scrap foam. And since I've got the lift out layers, I've got this hard piece, so I want this thing buried in here. So what I'm going to do is set my thin little knife to the depth based on this, okay? So just use the part you're putting in there, set your knife based on that depth. And since I want this at the top, I will cut this blade out first. Okay, so this, as you can see, is offset, right? So if I cut the full depth, then this tool will sort of sit at an angle. So what I want is I want to set my blade. So let's see if I hold it this way. So I want to set my blade so that when I line it up on here, it sticks to this face because that's the face that it's gonna rest on. If I set it longer, then the tool will sit like at an angle in there. So one of the things also, uh, like a two by four and a piece of wire, you can't stretch it. So go inside your line as much as possible. And if you need to cut more, you'd be better off adding foam back. It's a little harder. I like to pull the foam a little bit while I'm cutting my second pass. Good way to know that I'm cut through. Okay, so now, and this is where I've joked in the videos, I don't find it the easiest to sit here and do this whole, whatever you call it, plucking thing. So real quick, before I change anything, I'm gonna drop it in there, see how it fits. So right now, it looks like a couple things need to go deeper. The blade itself, the, the rasp, and then it looks like I need to pull out a little bit more. This is what this is for. I also found that you can dig the front end in like that. So right now, I just need to refine that a little bit, but I like where my blade sits, or my handle sits flush. So I'm just going to sort of use the knife to sort of rake it a little bit in here to make sure I have a nice path. Believe it or not, uh, the bigger area that you're cutting out, the easier. Uh, when you try to cut something thin like that, it's, it is a pain. Okay, so that fits down in there. Looks like the handle 
to go back a teeny bit. But generally speaking, that's good. So I will take this tool and what it's made for. I will generally do a little bit of rasping. I see a little spot in the corner back here that I'm going to cut out. On that. There we go. Now, I like to put it in here, right? Look at how I would pick this thing out. Where would I grab it from? It looks like I'm going to go up here. I got this guy. So, most likely, I'm going to grab it somewhere like that. So, I'll just sort of keep my finger on it. Right. I get a little twist, and I go right across from it, a little twist, rip it out, rip it out, put the, part, the tool part, whatever, back in the case. There we go. So, this guy goes in here, the holster. My marker. I have a spare one of these, and I already lost all my spare blades. Big surprise. So, with my extra knife, just sort of wedge it in there. There we go. Now, let's just finish it off with this. Looks like when I originally designed this, I was gonna use it on a thin one. So I probably will make a smaller one to go on the front here. But, oh yeah, look at that. Looks like I need to stuff my knife in the actual foam. Actually, I should probably just do a cutout for that knife on the bottom. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So, same way. Marker. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? What came first? The Kaizen foam or the cut knife? make this back side a little deeper. I did this one upside down, or I guess it just really depends. Brian's got a little cut out uh, indentation there. So that you put the lock mechanism or the release mechanism down. I did mine up. So I will set this a little bit deeper and on the back. Look at how clean that comes out. And now, looks like I need to take a little bit off the center. I feel a little height there. That's fine. I think Kaizen foam is the new man glitter. So I'll just real quick, so I can take it down a little bit more. Oh 
beautiful. There we go. All right, so let's put it back in here. Bottom piece. The rasp, my spare knife. Now, one of the things that I saw Brian do, if you look carefully, you'll see there's some marker on the edge. Let's just take a piece of your foam that you already have, and just rub it along the edges. Okay, I'll do it with the red. One of the advantages of using the black, yeah, it's a little teeny harder to see, but there it is. It, using the foam over the foam where the line is, looks like I should. Go ahead and cut a method. Do it right about the center. I'm gonna do it this time primarily over here so that when I put something else in the box, I've got more room. Let's see. All right, get my thumb under, pull it right out. So now, I would say it's good to go. Brian and the rest of you, pack out.